I am having way too much fun with a 3D presser, guys. So uh, this is my most recent test that I've done. And I went to uh, Walmart and picked up a, a, a McQueen, a Lightning McQueen, and his best friend, Tormator, and scanned them. Well, I recorded a video of this using my phone, and I was able to do uh, two videos just one going 360 degrees so before this i had tried walking around the entire model right but having this uh, rotating you know base it makes it so much easier and it's actually less straining on the knees <laughs> right so i'm able to just uh place the camera in one position wait for it to do 360 degrees then i just go on top and then finally on top and then i start off like at, at the low level and then I'm able to send, import this. No, sorry, I, I'm able to send this to a 3D Preso, the website, and upload the image, the video rather, and upload the video. And then I'm able to allow the system to do its thing. I think it takes about an uh, average of about 35 minutes. And I was able to get back a .glp file, which I then load into Blender. And as you can see here, this is a Tormator scanned. Uh, rather the the process of the scan uh, from the video itself and you can see the best so some of the challenges that i've faced is uh, being able to go like get underneath here but you can see that it gets an op it tries its best to do that to get underneath so but overall i mean it's amazing that it's able to actually go and take out all the different spaces you know the negative space and then also capture the textures. You can see Tomata over there, Radiator Springs. So incredibly amazing, right? That's Tomata, I really, really love him. And he, I almost expect him to start talking in this video. Uh, anyway, so let's go back to the Unreal Engine over here. And these two videos, uh, this is really fun. Like, so the environment itself, I used uh, uh, again another ai program uh, platform and that is uh from uh block blockade labs and rendered uh this uh, environment that looks like uh you know it's inspired by cars so i just really put in a prompt that best describes an environment that will look like from the movie cars but also radiator springs and then it offered me like a 360 degree image that then can, I can put into the Unreal Engine and use an HDRI backdrop to drop it in there. And as you can see, these are actual 3D models. I can rotate Meta around just like that. Sorry, I can rotate McQueen over there like that. And I can rotate Tomata over like that. So I used a Boolean modifier to be able to cut out the base. And now I have this amazing, amazing environment. So, so cool, right? Now I can do like a semi stop motion short film with these two friends talking to each other, do camera cuts and go back and forth, give them voices, mimic their voices. So amazing. So, but that's, uh, I was just showing you the possibilities of this platform and the Unreal Engine. It all starts with a video shot in my backyard uh, on this rotating base. And I'll put the link of, of that, uh, uh, this little device that I got from Amazon. So you can also check it out. But isn't that amazing from using AI to derive a 3D model of this toy, these two toys, to getting it to the Unreal Engine and be able to put in a 360 degree environment is totally totally amazing I mean, what an amazing time to be alive guys right so anyway i encourage you guys to give it a try you know your kids are probably going to give you a side eye but <laughs> this is your opportunity to be a kid and play with the toys that uh, you probably wouldn't have played with but you can definitely scan them if all you need is a phone uh, and make sure your lens is clean though <laughs> on your phone i i used a samsung you know s22 ultra to be able to capture this video over here. But uh, I think for me, what made the big difference was uh, that rotating uh, display case right there. And it, it makes it easier to be to go down or to that level because it's important to go down to that level to be able to see underneath the toy itself. 
So thank you so much for joining me again. And uh, man, please, guys, never give up on your dreams. Stay safe. As always, always dare to dream big. May we continue to use these tools to tell our stories, uh, whatever inspires you, because an idea might pop up in your head. And now with toys, <laughs> you could repurpose them instead of just throwing them away. You could actually use them to create something cool in the Unreal Engine. How cool is that? Because now, think about it. I can actually animate this going back, like Tometer can come. Or rather, I keep still calling him Tometer. McQueen can drive up and say, hey, Tometer, what are you doing? Oh, shoot. I've been walking around. I've been looking for my friend. My queen, you're my best friend. And then <laughs> my queen, I'm sure. Yeah, I think we are good friends, Tom. <laughs> Mate. <laughs> and then all the other friends can come in. So Dark Heart Zone, you know, all the other friends can join the conversation. But that's what's really cool about this whole process, that AI is going to transform the, the, the way we tell stories. And for me, I find it exciting. I really want to figure out how to harness this technology as much as possible because think about it i would have had to model this car this model here by hand texture it and then import it into the unreal engine but with just uh scanning and this just shooting a video uploading it to that ai uh, website 3d presso and then 3d presso gives you an image rather a 3d model dot glp then you bring into blender cut out the base and then bring import the export from Blender as an FPX file. Use file go export FPX, and then import that FPX into the Unreal Engine, and then fix the the shaders up a little bit, and you're good to go. And you have McQueen. Vroom, vroom, vroom. I am speed. I am speed. Shoot, I am nitrous. That's <laughs> too much fun, guys. Thank you so much for joining me today. Uh, bye for now and stay blessed. If you're new to my channel, do please spare a minute to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you're alerted when I post a new video. And uh, thank you so much. I want to give a shout out to all my patrons out there. Thank you for your support, guys. I truly, truly appreciate it. And thank you to the 3D block uh, Blockade uh, labs uh, for this amazing program that creates this 360 degree environment it makes it so much easier to incorporate this into the unreal engine and thank you again for the epic games uh, team for making this amazing amazing engine and again to the 3d pretzel team keep doing what you're doing guys it's amazing i can't wait to see what uh what the new changes that, that you're working on how they're going to impact us but this is amazing Thank you so much. Stay blessed, guys. Bye for now.